Hey, Shalom, Israel, Most High Christ Bless. It's your boy, Captain Hoshia. Shalom, Most High Christ Bless, Soldier Uriah. Hey, look, man, you about to have 15 minutes with the captain. Today's topic is remember the Sabbath to keep it holy. Let's go to Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. The book of Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. You hear that, Israel? The Lord said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Moses said, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. You got a foolish doctrine that has been rebirthed into the nation of Israel where you have men teaching that the Sabbath day starts Saturday sunrise to Sunday sunrise. And we're going to prove to you today that it's a false doctrine, that's a false teaching, and that it's a heresy. Let's go to the book of Genesis, chapter 1. Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. So Genesis is the beginning of it all. Now we're dealing with the creation story. Verse 2. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. I also been hearing foolish teachings that's been saying that this darkness that was upon the face of the deep is talking about men being in sin. I'm going to prove you to you that this darkness is talking about literal darkness and not men being in sin. Let's get Second Andrew chapter six. Verse 38. Now we're about to get Ezra's version of the creation story. Read. Second Ezra chapter 6 verse 38. And I said, O Lord, thou spakest from the beginning of the creation, even the first day, and said as thus, let heaven and earth be made. And thy word was a perfect work. He said my word was a perfect work. Read. And then was the spirit in darkness. And silence were on every side. You hear that? Then was the spirit. Now, the spirit that it's talking about is talking about the spirit of God that moved upon the face of the waters. You read about that in Genesis chapter 1, verse 2. Read on. The sound of man's voice. You hear that? The sound of man's voice. So this darkness is talking about literal darkness. It's not talking about man being in sin. Why? Because it says the sound of what? The sound of man's voice was not yet formed. The sound of man's voice has not yet been formed. So this darkness is literal darkness. The earth was covered with darkness. Let's go right back to what we was at. Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. And the earth was without form, and void and darkness was upon the face of the deep. So Israel, don't be simple. What came first? Darkness, darkness, darkness came first. Read on. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Read. And God said, let there be light. What came secondly? Light, light, light. Light came secondly. Darkness came first. Read on. And there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day. God called the light day. The hours of light, Israel, is called day. Read. Really? And the darkness he called night. The hours of darkness is called night. Read really? on. And the evening. Your evening hours is called night. Read on. And the morning. Your morning hours is called light. Read. Were the first day. Or it's called day. Your evening hour is your evening hours are called night. And your morning hours is called day. Now look, hold on. Let's go deep into that. Now look, this is what I want to do next. Uh, you know what? I forgot to bring this out. You had a brother, he went on Facebook, and he said, Captain Hoshire, prove to me that the evening hours is called night. Then he said, prove to me, Captain Hoshire, that the hours of day is called morning. So we're going to prove it to you right now, brother. Proverbs chapter 7, verse 9. Let's deal with the evening hours first being called night. 
Listen to what King Solomon, the wisest man on the planet Earth, got to say. Read. Proverbs chapter 7, verse 9. In the twilight, in the evening, in the black and dark night. You hear that right there? That's proof right there that your evening hours is called night. Evening is in the night. All right, now look, let's go from there to Isaiah 58, verse 8. Let's prove that the morning is called day, or the morning is called light. Let's read. Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 8. Then shall thy light break forth. Hold on. Then shall your light break forth, read. As the morning. Just like the morning. Light breaks forth in the morning. Light breaks forth in the morning. Let's prove that once again. Let's go back to 2nd Andrew chapter 6. And then we're going to get Micah chapter 2. 2nd Andrew chapter 6. I think what we want, verse 40 this time. Second Ezra chapter 6 verse 40. Then commandest thou a fur light. Then commandest thou a fur light to do what? To come forth. To come forth or to do what, Israel? Break forth. To break forth. Light break forth in the morning. During your morning hours. Read on. To come forth of thy treasures that thy work might appear. All right, let's go back to where we was at. Isaiah, now go to Micah 2 verse 1 now. Because we're still dealing with the morning being called light or the morning being called day. Or the light being called morning. That's what we're still dealing with. We already proved to you that the evening is called night. Now we're proving to you that the light is called morning. Read. Micah chapter 2 verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity. And work evil upon their beings. The Lord said destruction to you Israelites that devise it iniquity. All you think of is iniquity. And you wake up. You, I mean, you go to sleep thinking evil. Read. When the morning is light. The morning is what? When the morning is light. You hear that, Israel? Morning is light. Morning is light. Your hours of light is called morning. Read. Be they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. Okay, now let's go from there. So we just proved out of the Holy Bible that the evening is called darkness and the morning is called light. We just proved that right there. So now let's go right back to Genesis chapter 1 verse 5. Genesis chapter 1 verse 5. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. Read. And the evening. The hours of darkness or the covering of darkness. Read. And the morning. Or the breaking forth of light or the hours of light. Were the first day. Made up the first day. Daily the earth is in 12 hours of darkness which is called evening, and daily the earth is in 12 hours of light, which is called the morning, which is called the morning. Don't be simple, Israel. The hours of darkness came first. A day cannot begin when the sun rises. Why? The sun wasn't created until the fourth day. The sun was created four days later. Remember, there is light. In the sky without the sun. Understand that, Israel. Now, look, let's go from there to Daniel chapter 8, verse 26. Let's get, let's get more proof that a day begins at evening. And Sunday is actually, I mean, and the Sabbath is actually Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. From evening to evening. Read what you got. Daniel chapter 8, verse 26. Read. In the vision of the evening and the morning, which was told is true. Wherefore, shut, shut thou up the vision, for it shall be for many days. So now we're going to deal. Let's see what this. Now we're going to deal with this vision of the evening and morning. Let's see what this vision of the evening and morning is. Let's jump, uh, let's jump up to Daniel chapter 8, verse 13. Verse 13. Then I heard one saint speaking, 
And another saint said unto that certain saint which spake, How long shall be the vision concerning the daily sacrifice? So this vision is concerning the daily sacrifice. Right now, Israel, we're keeping the feast of dedication. The reason why we keep the feast of dedication, because when you read in the book of Maccabees, the Greeks conquered us. The Greeks took our temple, they dallied with harlots, they set up idolatry, uh, they set up uh, idolatries monuments, they set up their, uh, they also uh, sacrificed swine's flesh on our uh, sanctuary. When you read, uh, as you read on, you'll read how Judas Maccabees and his brothers led the nation of Israel to take the, take the sanctuary back and to cleanse it. Therefore, giving us the feast of dedication. Read on. And the transgression of desolation to give both the sanctuary and the host to be trodden underfoot. So the saint that is talking about that was asking the question here was Mattathias. You can read about that in 1 Maccabees chapter 2. Read on. And he said unto me, unto 2,300 days, then shall the sanctuary be clean. So he said to 2,300 days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. So the vision of the evening and morning is talking about the 2,300 days. The 2,300 days that the sanctuary, uh, I mean th the 2,300 days to when the sanctuary was to be cleansed. That's what it's talking about. And when do these 2,300 days begin? In the evening. In the evening. Because he said what in verse 26? Read that again. Verse 26. And the vision of the evening and the morning. Which is talking about the 2,300 days. Then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. The 2300 days till the sanctuary is to be cleansed. These 2300 days start when? In the evening. In the evening. Remember you have 12 hours of evening and 12 hours of morning. With that Israel, we're going to say shalom. Y'all look for part two of 15 minutes with the captains. Remember to keep the Sabbath holy. With that, we're going to say Shalom, Most High Christ bless. Shalom, Most High.